god, I actually have foundation in my hair. I got it in my hair. <laughs> like a pro. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kiki and today's video is all about my makeup routine. You guys have been asking for this video for months and months, so it's finally here. As you guys know, I love Pacifica Cosmetics. I love anything by Pacifica. And you guys reached out to them on my behalf on social media and they got a hold of me and said that they would love to give my viewers a 20% off discount through May 15th, which is amazing. So thank you guys for reaching out to Pacifica and a big thank you to Pacifica for the very generous 20% off. So if you guys wanna buy any of the products I'm showing you today, make sure you do it before May 15th and get that 20% off. I will be showing you a few other products that are not Pacifica, but everything is vegan. The thing that I love the most about Pacifica other than that they're all natural and vegan is that they are so stinking affordable. All the products I'm gonna show you today are really affordable because you know me, I like a good deal. And my routine is pretty simple because again, you know me, I like things to be simple and not complicated. Remember you guys can follow me on Instagram at Plantiful Kiki and on Facebook at the Plantiful Kiki page for more food and lifestyle inspiration. All right guys, let's get into this makeup routine. Okay guys, so I have cleansed and moisturized my skin. I will link the moisturizer that I'm obsessed with in the description box for you guys because I know you'll ask. Okay, so before I apply any of my makeup, after I cleanse and moisturize, I put on a sunscreen and I like to do at least 30 SPF and I right now am loving this bronzing face sunscreen by Pacifica. It is tinted as you can see and it is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. And so when I don't feel like wearing makeup, I just put on this sunscreen and it works as a tinted moisturizer. I do that and some mascara and I am good to go. I love it. It's this gorgeous bronzy color and it's enough to just give me a little bit of bronze and some sheer coverage when I don't want to wear makeup so that's a great tip for you guys and it's like I don't know between like nine and thirteen dollars it's amazing and it will last forever but I'm not gonna put any of this on today because I will be washing my makeup off after I do this video and like hanging out in my pajamas all day <laughs> so okay I'm gonna start with Pacifica's all light foundation I absolutely love this stuff I love that it can go on as sheer or as full coverage as you need it to so I'm just gonna put a little on my hand and before I forget I am using it in color neutral tan and again I will put all of this in the description box for you guys so I'm just gonna pick a little bit up with this brush and I am working on replacing all of my brushes with vegan ones, but it's expensive to replace all your brushes at once. So I'm just doing it a little bit at a time. So this one is just like a cheap brush from Target. It's like an SK brush, but I really like it and I don't know what it is. But I'm just using that to put on my foundation. And like I said, this is such a nice foundation it goes on and looks like your skin and you can put it on as thick or as thin as you want it to be but it is my absolute favorite and it matches my skin tone perfectly which can be really difficult for me because I have you know mixed race skin so it can be hard to find something to match my skin tone and this one is perfect and I always go over my lips just to like prime them. I know that's like an early 2000s thing that I just cannot quit. All of you guys that are like over 35 know <laughs> what I'm talking about. The whole like priming your lips before you put your lipstick on. And my face and neck are really white compared to the rest of me because I have been really good this year about wearing sunblock all the time which at 36 is kind of late to be starting so girls if you're in your 20s please wear your sunscreen you can always apply a tan <laughs> you don't want this to wrinkle prematurely 
So for concealer, I love Pacifica's concealer, of course, and it is in 14NM, and it's a liquid concealer. And I just like to dab some in the corners right here, and then I line the bridge of my nose above my cupid's bow. My lips, it's that early 2000s, can't kick it. I just start tapping it in with my fingers. Sometimes I use a beauty blender, but I'm not like super proficient at that yet. And I just feel like I have more control with my fingers. So that's what we got. I think the reason that I like priming my lips too is because they're so pigmented and I like to wear nude lipstick. So it gives my nude lipstick a good base to go on without like being more red than I want it to be because my lips are so pigmented. Okay, so that is what I do for concealer. So for contour, I am going to be using this no filter stick by ColourPop and it's actually a foundation stick but I use it as a contour stick and I am using it in dark 165N. And this is amazing. Now, all their products are not vegan. This one is. The products I'm showing you today are vegan, but you need to pay attention if you're going to order any other cosmetics from them because not all their cosmetics are vegan. And I love a cream contour because I feel like powders can look dry and I want everything to look natural and like super radiant, glowy skin. Now, I love this stick because a little goes a long way. And a friend of mine who's an amazing makeup artist, she taught me that when you're over 30, you do not want to be putting any contour closer into your face or blush that you want to draw these imaginary lines on the corners of your eyes that go up and down. And all your contour and blush will be on the outside of this line and you want to kind of make your face go up and more angular. Because when you put makeup closer to the center of your face, it can really like shrink your face and bring everything down and she is in her mid 50s and that woman has aged like j-lo she is a queen and i will listen to any makeup tip that she gives me so since she taught me that i've been doing this and guys i've got to say it makes a huge difference so i make sure that my contour does not come because i used to like put contour like in here so i stay outside of the corner of my eye and i'm going to start here and just do like this sharp diagonal line up to where my ear starts right here just like that and the same on this side and that is literally all you need to bronze up and contour your whole face i'm also going to put a little bit on the nose and this should be interesting doing it on camera i've never done this before we will make it work and I do this, I don't do this every day. I do this when I take pictures for Instagram because the light can do some weird things with your nose. And like sometimes the light will just like make my face look like a Picasso painting and it looks like my nose is going in different directions. So I contour for Instagram. And since you guys always ask me after I post on Instagram for makeup tutorials or what products I use, I'm gonna show you guys what I do for the gram. All right, so now I'm just gonna blend this contour in and I'm just using like this old bare minerals brush I don't know if they're vegan but like I said I'm slowly replacing my brushes I really like the eco tools so the ones that I've replaced I've gone with eco tools so I am just like pushing this into my skin and it really warms everything up I'm gonna go down my chin and do the same on this side but you see we're going up now, girls, if you are young and in your 20s, you do not need to worry about this. You just put your makeup on wherever you want on your face. But as you get older, I'm telling you, this trick has like changed my makeup game. My friend teaches for MAC and she's just incredible. And so yeah, so just that little diagonal line up this way makes, makes your face look nice and pulled back and lifted. Now for my nose, I'm just gonna use my finger and kind of start to tap this in and blend it just like that. And then I'm gonna take my foundation brush because it still has a little foundation on it and then I'm just gonna 
really go over it and blend it in so there's no harsh lines. Just like that. Okay, so blush. I use a cream blush. So all the products you're gonna see me use are all creams with the exception of one powder that I use to set my eyeshadow. But I use creams for everything because again, I feel like as you get older that powders can sit on top of your skin and kind of get into those fine lines and just makes your skin look a little more dull. So I like things to look like healthy, glowy skin. So I stick with creams for everything. Now this is by Mineral Fusion and you can pick it up at like Whole Foods or any other natural health food store that sells cosmetics. And this one is in Berry Glow. Now Pacifica just came out with a new cheek stain. So I can't wait to try that and let you guys know what I think. So I'm just gonna take this little Eco Tools brush and pick up a little bit of that. And so just like the contour, I'm gonna go on the outside of the outside corner, which is really strange, I know, because I used to like put it right here on the apples of my cheeks, but my friend was like, no girl, you need to be putting it out here to lift everything up. So I, again, don't go inside of the corner of my eye anymore, and I just, tap a little and I know it was like so weird to do it at first but now like I can't even imagine putting blush like down here so I just stay up here and it just helps lift everything up and give some color now eyes I like to have a really natural looking eye and this is like my everyday makeup like going on a date, whatever, unless I do like a smoky eye. I do love a smoky eye, but this is what you guys see on Instagram because I'm too lazy to like do anything else. So this is um, actually the concealer from Pacifica and I think it's one of their darkest colors and it's 5WT and this is what I use for a brown eyeshadow. And I don't like to do the powders again just because I feel like it makes everything look so dull. So I just put some of this concealer on my eyes and I put a little underneath and then I'm gonna start with my fingers and just kind of tap that in to my eyelid and just keep tapping and then I've got this eco tools I think this is like their travel one and I like this blending brush on the end and then I don't know what this brush is <laughs> you makeup babes can let me know, educate me. So I'm just gonna take the blending side and just really blend that concealer in that I use as my eyeshadow. And then I'm gonna use the other side that I don't know what it is. And I'm gonna blend in the bottom. And then I'll use the other side to just kind of clean it up. Just like that. So if I'm going out for a while and I need my eyeshadow to last, if I'm gonna go dancing or something with my husband, which doesn't happen often because I like to be in bed by like 9.30 and dancing never seems to start till like 11. And I just like, I turn back into a pumpkin. But let's say I needed my makeup to last all day, all night, whatever. I like to set it with this Mineral Fusion bronzing powder. It's in deep two, so I just pick up some of that with the same brush, and then I'll just lightly tap that on to really hold that concealer and color in place, and then that will last forever. I have not tried Pacifica's bronzers or eyeshadows yet because I haven't been able to get them, so I'm really excited to try some of their eyeshadows and bronzers and see what sort of fun things I can do with them. All right, so those eyes are set. Now it's time to curl the lashes on screen. I don't know how you girls do this. You beauty bloggers are like my heroes. You guys are so talented. You guys ever see those girls like put their eyelashes, their false eyelashes on like no problem this far from a camera or a mirror. You guys are amazing. I think my eyelashes are curled. I'm not really sure. Let's hope they are. 
So as far as mascara, I love to layer mascara. I feel like you get more length and drama from it. So I love this Stellar Gaze by Pacifica. This is the one I'm gonna put on first, and this is like a really nice lengthening mascara. Of course, you don't have to do two different mascaras like I do. Like this is a great, if I only had time to do one, this is the one that I would do. And I did notice when I stopped using regular like chemical mascaras that my eyelashes stopped shedding so much and they like got longer. So I do not use drugstore mascaras anymore. I'm gonna get a little closer. Okay, so there's that one. So then the one that I like to layer on top of that is Pacifica's Highest Lash Chronic Volume Mascara. I love it. And this one just like really plumps them up. And I feel like it really curls them up too. I just love mascara, right? Ladies, like if you only could grab one thing to put on before you had to be somewhere, I guarantee it would be mascara. Mascara is everything. All right, lips. I know you guys are waiting for this because every time I post a picture or a video, you guys are like, girl, what lipstick are you wearing? So I'm gonna start with the lip liner by ColourPop in BFF. This is like my ride or die, love this color and it's super creamy. And I'm just gonna line my lips. Now if you don't line your lips, let me just encourage you to start because I have really full lips by themselves, but when I line them, they look even fuller and more luscious. Isn't that pretty? That color is just so pretty. And then the lipstick you guys always want to know about is by ColourPop. It is, of course, vegan, and it is in the color Quickie. This is like the prettiest peach nude I have ever, ever found. I buy like three at a time when I order them. They're only like nine or ten dollars really inexpensive like i said i have never found a peach nude as beautiful as this i hope they never discontinue them because i will be so sad and this is the lipstick you guys always ask me about and this looks good on me when i'm not as tan when i'm really tan i just love it all right highlighter yes i love me some highlighter but i don't use powdered highlighter because i do have fine lines starting right here and I feel like the highlighter just like gets in the creases and like highlights like that I'm have some wrinkles right there. So I love that Pacifica came out with a cream or just liquid highlighter. This one is called Get Lit Multi Highlight and it's in the color Topaz and I love this. And this bottle will last forever. A little goes a long way. So it comes in this cute little dropper and I'm literally just gonna put one little drop on my hand here and that's gonna be more than enough. So I'm just gonna pick some of that up and then I like to highlight right up here at the very top of my cheekbone. And I'll do the same on the other side. And I feel like it's just enough. It just looks like natural glow. I love it, look at that, it's so pretty. And then I have a little bit left, so I like to put some on my cupid's bow right here. Because that always like photographs really pretty. I'll put some on my chin. Just kind of where we highlighted. I'll put a little on my nose. Just like that. And if I have any leftover, I'll put on my color bin. But that stuff is amazing. I absolutely love it. All right guys, that is it. That is my everyday look. When I take pictures on Instagram, this is what you guys see. It's simple, I don't use a lot of crazy products. I obviously have no like real skills as far as like technique and applying. So I feel like anybody could do this. I'll get a little closer so you guys can see. Oh, that lipstick is everything guys, everything. I just love these products because it really, it just looks like such pretty healthy skin. All right, well, that is my makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to check out Pacifica and their products, guys. Use that discount code, 20% off. I'm super excited about that. And let me know what you think. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.